In this quick free CAD tutorial, we'll design a basic T-pipe using the Part Design Workbench. After opening a new document, make sure the Part Design Workbench is selected. Then click this button to create a new sketch. Click on the XZ plane to start sketching on this plane. Select the Circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse, enter 50 mm and press Enter. Now draw another circle on the origin. Click when it's a little smaller than the first one. Select the Line tool. Draw a vertical line between the two circles. Right-click to exit the Line tool. Click, hold and drag a vertex to see where the line is loose. Click on the vertex and the vertical axis and choose this constraint tool. The line is now fixed on the vertical axis. Select the dimension tool and click on the line. Drag the mouse, enter 2 mm and press enter. Right click to exit the dimension tool and box select the line. Then click this button to convert it into a construction line. Click Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad tool to extrude the sketch. Enter 200 mm and check Symmetric to Plane to extrude it in two directions. Click OK to apply the extrusion. Click the Sketch button to create another sketch. And select the XY plane to start sketching perpendicular to the pipe. Select the Circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse, enter 50 mm and press Enter. Click on this eye icon next to the pad to hide the first model. Now draw another circle on the origin like you did before. Click when it's a little smaller than the first one. Select the Line tool. Draw a vertical line between the two circles again. Right-click to exit the Line tool. Now fix the line the same way as you did in the first sketch. The line is now fixed on the vertical axis. Select the dimension tool and click on the line. Drag the mouse, enter 2 mm and press enter. Right click to exit the dimension tool. Now box select the line. Click this button to convert it into a construction line. Click close to exit the sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. Click the eye icon next to the pad to show the first model again. Here you see where the second sketch is located. Select the sketch and then the pad tool to extrude the sketch. Enter 75 mm to extrude it in one direction. Click OK to apply the extrusion. Both pipes are made, but some cuts still need to be made. Create a sketch on the XZ plane. Select the circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse, enter 46 mm and press Enter. This is one method to match the inside diameter of the pipe. Click Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pocket tool and choose Through All. Check Symmetric to Plane to extrude everything in two directions. Click OK to apply the extrusion. Finally, click on the top face of the small pipe and create a sketch. Select the circle tool and click on the origin. Drag the mouse, enter 46 mm and press enter. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pocket tool and choose up to face. Then select the inside surface of the large pipe. The small pipe is now also opened because the cut reaches to the inside of the large pipe. This was the last step to complete the T-pipe model. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.